Hi, this is Deirdre Longo, and I'm an information architect at IBM working on enterprise content management products. And I'd like to talk to you today about some interesting things that we've delivered, and hopefully you'll find them interesting as well. The IBM FileNet information is on the Internet for the first time ever, and what that means is that you can use your favorite search engine to search for any of the content, and I'd like to show you what I mean. I'm going to search for installing or upgrading IBM FileNet PA using Google. This first one looks interesting, and it turns out it's going to bring up the FileNet Information Center. An information center is basically a combination of the documentation for all the included products in HTML format. So not only can I search from Google, but within the information center itself, I can search for the content inside. And in addition to this installing or upgrading IBM FileNet P8 that I searched for, it includes um, documentation for installing a large amount of other FileNet products. And if you're an IBM FileNet customer today, you'll be familiar with the installed documentation system, the help system, and all of that information is also included down here. So everything that you're familiar with is now available right on the Internet. You don't need to install it to, to actually access it. So in addition, we've put in some, some nice features into the Information Center to help you get to the information that you want. And if you're at all familiar with FileNet information, you will know that the FileNet product is available on a wide variety of databases, application servers, operating systems, LDAP servers, and so forth. And because of that, it means there's a large amount of information that might not apply to your personal specific situation and configuration. So let me give you an example of that. Here we have the process engine information. And I have some topics here that are specific to the different databases that are supported. But maybe I'm only on DB2. So let's say that I want to filter the content content, and I only want to see the information about the process engine, and I only want to see the information related to DB2 for Linux, Unix, and Windows. So once I click that filter, it will rework the navigation and filter out the topics that I'm not interested in. So going back to where I was a second ago, here's the process engine again, and here is my database connection. And as you can see, I only have the DB2 topic showing now. The, the ones about Microsoft SQL Server and Oracle have temporarily disappeared while this filter is in place. You might also be saying to yourself, wait a minute, as you can see, why is Content Engine here? I thought you got rid of Content Engine and you were only showing Process Engine. Well, it happens that there are process engine uh, tasks that you need to do on the content engine, and so it is completely appropriate that these topics are still displaying. But the vast majority of content engine uh, material was filtered out by the filter. The, these capabilities exist as well as the abilities to scope your search and also filter the search results. And you can learn about those by reading more about the Info Center. The other thing I'll tell you here is, in addition to the filtering in the Information Center, we've also produced customized documentation for the installation, and that's available in um, actually 18 different customized versions of the output. So for any of these, they're about two-thirds shorter than the full guide. And back to the Information Center for just a second. I mentioned that there's a tour up here. I, I recommend that even if you think you're familiar with information centers from other products because there's there's a lot of great information in there. And we have some links here to a variety of other resources including things that are not in this info center but, but direct resources available um, elsewhere on the IBM.com space. And finally, we're always interested in your feedback and inside the info center you can find feedback links at the bottoms of the topics, and feel free to contact us, and we will be happy to listen to anything that you have to say.